What's going on guys, Spoon here, back again with some more No Man's Sky. Today I'll be showing you how to get over 15,000 Quicksilver in an hour. Now a quick disclaimer, this is going to be a bit of a bug or a glitch to be able to reset a mission. If you do not want to engage in bugs or glitches, then please don't watch the video. I personally don't really enjoy doing glitches, but I also don't particularly want to spend over a year farming Quicksilver every day to unlock everything that you can buy with it. So now that's out of the way, let's jump into the method I'll be showing you. To do this glitch, you're going to need to be online while the weekend Quicksilver mission is available. Alongside this, you will also need at least one daily Quicksilver mission available as well. The weekend mission that has just started is to build an underwater base. This one's actually pretty good as it can be done in a couple of minutes before being reset. We're going to be checking out the actual weekend mission first and the requirements to complete it. So first off, this is base building, meaning that you will be required to construct various underwater base items. So the first requirement is going to be salvage data to unlock the preset builds. I recommend just unlocking all of the prefabs so it isn't an issue, but if you want to unlock only what's needed, that's okay too. Next up required will be some various building materials. The cool part about this is that you won't actually lose any of the materials that you use to build the base itself. So once you have the required items, you're good to go. We're going to need a decent stack of pure ferrite, magnetized ferrite, some glass, sodium and ferrite dust. Alongside these basic materials, you will also want to grab some living pearls and crystal sulfide. These can be found in the underwater section that we'll be going to from armored clams and these little volcano jets. Five of each was more than enough for any of these builds. Lastly, the item that you will need is going to be chromatic metal. This is to build your base computers and is the only material you're actually going to lose. It's only going to be 30 chromatic metal to build the computer and you can obtain chromatic metal through refining copper at a rate of 2 to 1. A good way to not bore yourself with this method is, as it gets a little repetitive, is to start off with 300 chromatic metal and keep going until it's all gone. So now that you're equipped with everything you need to do the weekend mission, let's jump into how to reset it. This can be done in online or offline mode, but I prefer to do it in offline just so the game doesn't lag at all when you enter the anomaly. All we need to do is hand in the weekend mission as normal, then accept the daily mission that's available next. Jump into your ship and exit the anomaly. Now this will either give you a location in your current system or warp you to a new system. Once you have entered the system, wait for the icon to appear that shows you the location of the daily mission. Once it's appeared on your screen and you're looking directly at it, reload your last autosave. This will be from when you jumped out of your ship on the anomaly. Once you've loaded back in, all you need to do is talk to the Nexus again and the weekend mission will be available to you once more. Now all you need to do is rinse and repeat until you're satisfied with the amount of Quicksilver you've got. So I did this for one hour as fast as I could and on average I was able to complete a reset run in 3 minutes and about 40 seconds. The fastest I was able to achieve was roughly 2 minutes and 50 seconds, theoretically meaning that 20 is possible in an hour or 24,000 Quicksilver per hour. In the hour I did it, I was able to complete 15 weekend missions, obtaining a total of 18,000 Quicksilver. The rate of 15,000 per hour for the title of the video is based on 5 minute runs which is very achievable for anyone to do with this weekend's mission. Thanks for watching my guide on how to farm Quicksilver, if you enjoyed it please leave a like down below and let me know in the comments what you want to buy from the Quicksilver store yourself. And if you've watched this far, here's a spoiler for the next video. This beautiful 24 slot S class multi tool will be featured in my next video coming out very soon when I explore the entirety of a T3 Viking system. Please consider subscribing for more No Man's Sky content.